What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking exclusives on the Xbox One versus the PS4. As you guys may have seen my last video, I was talking about consoles and which one I'm kind of leaning towards uh, at the time and it's kind of switched a little bit. Back then, or I guess a few days ago, I was leaning towards the PS4, not so much looking at the exclusives, more looking at price point and overall quality of the console, I was leaning towards PS4. After doing a lot more research and digging, I've kind of switched over to the other side and I'm thinking Xbox One purely based on the exclusives. And I'm going to break them down for you guys and you tell me your opinions in the comments below. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. Alright, so let's start it out on the PS4. The first game we have is Killzone Shadowfall. This is set 30 years after Killzone 3 and an atmosphere resembling the Cold War. The key feature of this game is going to be its graphics. The graphics on this game look amazing and it's definitely going to be a great game if you're a Killzone fan. The next game we have here is Infamous Second Son. It's the sequel to Infamous 2 and you're basically playing as a superhero and you'll have to deal with police and other elements throughout your gameplay. Now not your typical game here, we have Knack. This is more of a youthful game and I say that because it really is. Uh, there's not too much going on in the game as far as being a hardcore gamer. You're basically just a big dude running around incorporating different elements as part of your body. That was kind of my takeaway from the trailers that I've seen. So Knack, not, not necessarily the most AAA based hardcore gaming type game, but definitely something cool and unique for the console. The next game we have here is totally new for both consoles, and that is Drive Club. It's going to be the competitor for Forza on the Xbox One, and is definitely shaping up to be some great competition. It is a new game, like I said, so it is a little bit different than most. We've seen a lot of community aspects, as well as the cars being very detailed. It'll definitely be cool to see what comes of that game. Moving on, we have Deep Down. This is a fantasy game being developed with Panther Ray, and that is a new graphics engine, so we'll have to see exactly what comes out there. We haven't heard too much about Deep Down, but we do know it is using a new graphics engine which is pretty cool so we'll have to see exactly what happens with that but definitely good for all the fantasy fans out there it's going to be a new title for you we also have Final Fantasy 4372. Uh, what we actually have is Final Fantasy 15. Uh, as you guys know, Final Fantasy is pretty big. Not necessarily my cup of tea, but definitely a uh, continuation of the Final Fantasy series. So that's going to be a PS4 exclusive as well. And in the interest of not leaving anything out, I wanted to go ahead and throw in Kingdom Heart 3. This is not a super interesting game to me, but I did want to throw it in there as it is an exclusive and maybe something you're interested in. So also note, uh, Kingdom Heart 3 is an exclusive coming to the PS4. Alright, so moving on to the Xbox One. The first thing we have is Rise Son of Rome. This is a very anticipated game. Lots of people are really wanting to see this. Don't know if it's going to be my favorite game on the console, but it is an interesting one for sure. The combat sequences use quick time events, which is a little different than most fighting games that you see out there. So that'll be interesting to see how they incorporate that into the game. As we saw at the first Xbox One event, we have Quantum Break. Now this is being developed by Remedy Entertainment, and it claims to blur the lines between television and gaming. So that'll be interesting to see, especially if you're one of the people like me, where you like the cinematic parts of gaming as well as being able to interact with the game and make those decisions. So that'd be cool and definitely a unique, very, very unique game coming to the Xbox One. Hopefully it turns out and delivers on that promise of blurring the lines between television and gaming. As mentioned before, we have Forza Motorsport 5. Among many things that they boasted, it's going to be running at 60 frames per second. Offline driving is also going to be a feature where your driver is going to race for you while you're away, building up experience and overall bringing a new experience to the game. Additionally, one of the things they boasted was a better AI, so the AI is going to react more realistically if there's a crash, someone takes a spill, whatever it may be, the AI should react much more realistically. For all you zombie fans out there, we have Dead Rising 3. This is set three days after a zombie outbreak. Crafting, driving, the usual stuff in zombie games is there and definitely looks good. One thing you also notice in the trailers is there are a lot of zombies on screen at one time, definitely utilizing some of the new power of the Xbox One. Now with that said, you can also use Smart Glass, so you get to use Smart Glass to drop airstrikes and different things like that. They did show that, so it looks pretty cool and it's supposed to be great on the new consoles, so we'll see how that turns out. The next thing we have is Halo 5. This is a big deal for a lot of people as Halo 5 tends to be one of the biggest games in gaming. Uh, that and Call of Duty seem to be at the top of the chart no matter where you look. Now with that said, all we've really seen as official news is the trailer. So not too much coming out of Halo 5 yet, but it will be coming in the future. In the interest of not leaving anything out, I also want to throw in D4 and Killer Instinct. Now these aren't necessarily my cup of tea, but they are there and they're coming to the Xbox One. So I wanted to bring them up in the video. Could be something you're interested in, so definitely check those out as games come to the new console. 
And last but not least, obviously, there is Titanfall. So much news has been coming of Titanfall. So many people are excited about this one. And it is, I guess, an exclusive if you're comparing it to the PS4. But do note, it is coming to PC later on. It will be coming to Xbox One before PC. So if you really, really want to play it, maybe that'll swing your vote over to Xbox One. But do note, it is not, I guess, technically an exclusive to Xbox One, as it will be coming to PC. Just to sum up the game quickly, it is mech-based warfare, and it looks fantastic. It's also very multiplayer driven, so it looks pretty good there as well. Definitely a game I'm going to be excited for, and being that I love playing games on console, it does swing my vote a little bit towards the Xbox One, not going to lie about that. The last exclusive we have here is Call of Duty. Now this is going to be exclusive to the Xbox One, and I'm not talking about the game itself. The game will be available on both consoles on the same day, so don't worry about that. Now what I'm talking about more specifically is the dedicated servers and early access to the maps. So if you are a gamer who loves Call of Duty and that is your game, it may be better to get the Xbox One just because of dedicated servers and you get early access to the maps. So keep that in mind, if you play a lot of Call of Duty and that's the game for you, you probably want to go into the Xbox One just because it has a lot more support for Call of Duty. Alright guys, so that concludes all the big exclusives coming for each console. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Which game console is looking better to you? Just to sum it up, PS4 had Killzone Shadowfall, and from the second son, Knack, Drive Club, Deep Down, Final Fantasy V, and Kingdom Heart 3. The Xbox One had Rise Son of Rome, Quantum Break, Forza Motorsport 5, Dead Rising 3, Halo 5, D4, and Killer Instinct. Tell me what you guys think, like I said in the comments below, which console has the better exclusives. Just to tell you guys my thoughts briefly, I'm thinking Xbox One, and just based on exclusives, I'm thinking I'm going to go Xbox One, because as far as computing power goes, whether or not it has a better CPU doesn't really matter to me. Same with the RAM. They're going to be so close that I don't think that's a deciding factor for me. I'm looking for which console is going to give me the best gaming experience and what has the games I really want to play, besides the games that are on both consoles like Call of Duty or Watch Dogs or Assassin's Creed, which you can play them both, but I want to really know what the exclusives are. So that's what they are, guys. With all of that said, I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. We should have something coming on Smart Glass in the next couple days. I did want to talk about that because there's a lot of news around Smart Glass. So till then, peace, and here is the outro.